We have three types of corn planted in the fields this year. Behind Ted's is the corn maze. That is long, tall, silage corn. We have decorative corn planted in the main park at Rain Dance, and also on the corner of 7th Street and Kestrel in Pelican Farms. But the superstar, of course, is the sweet corn. And we've got early sweet corn in some fields, and then we've got a variety of late sweet corn in the other fields. You're gonna wanna make sure you get to the right field in order to have the best corn. The sweet corn varieties that are planted this year will be anywhere from four up to about six feet tall. If you go to one of the late sweet corn fields now or one of the early sweet corn fields in three or four weeks, you're gonna be disappointed. So to help, we've created the 2022 crop and orchard map. If you get to one of the corn fields and you have 10 or 11 or 12 foot tall sweet corn, well, guess what? That's not sweet corn. So last year we had a few people complain that the sweet corn in the corn maze wasn't very good. And yeah, that's because it wasn't sweet corn. It's okay to buy three or four day corn in the grocery store or one or two day old corn at the Saturday farmer's market. But it's much better to just go out to the fields, pick the corn, pick the sweet corn that you're looking for, and take it home and boil or cook it. A maturier corn will be just about the size of your hand. So if you're out in the fields and you're looking, this ear corn is not quite ready yet. But right next to it, my fingers are, and thumb are just barely touching. So this would be a good candidate to pick. So that's a pretty good looking piece of corn. Stalks of sweet corn only have one or two ears of corn. So if you pick the last ear of corn, go ahead and knock the plant over with your foot. That clears the area so other people can come and easily pick the remaining ears of corn. So here's how corn works. The male or the top of the plant, the tassel, generates the pollen. The wind blows the pollen off the tassel and it drops. And it will fall down into the silk of the corn. And you can see on, on this silk, there's quite a bit of pollen that's here. Then the pollen travels through the silk, which is kind of a tube, down into each kernel of corn and fertilizes the kernel. You'll see a lot of honeybees during pollination. So corn's a great plant uh, to feed the bees during the summer. But the bees don't pollinate corn like they do apple trees or pear trees. So our cornfields are a great source of food for honeybees during the summer which is a really a win-win for everyone. The plums are also in season right now. You can eat plums fresh, or you can dehydrate them and eat them as prunes. We have two varieties of European plums. Just like the sweet corn, we have early plums and late plums. The smaller round plums are Mount Royals, and they ripen in the end of August. The oval plums are Stanley's, and they'll be ripe and ready to pick in September. The sunflowers are in full bloom and later in the year you'll be able to cut and season the seeds. We have a lot of people right now using the sunflower fields for school photos. Feel free to come out and uh, clip off sunflowers for your table. I saw them the other day for $5 at the farmer's market, so uh, we've got a lot of investment here. I hope you have some time in the next couple of weeks to grab your bikes and your family, grab some corn and some fruit, hit the trails, explore what's going on, and enjoy the bounty here at the districts.